You know what? I love takeaways. Oh. Um, that really worried me. I know. Sorry. OK, and tell me organic. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We didn't tip them out so easily. Apparently it's fine. Yeah. Thanks, Sally. Happy to meet you. Thank you, you very too. much for talking to us on BBC Breakfast. Thank you. Um, tell us a little bit about the film, because you allegedly had a kind of fight with Brad Pitt over getting the rights. What an amazing set of pictures, and you've got what? You've gone to Yorkshire, a bit of River Don action. <laughs> you of NHS Confederation, thanks for your time this morning. Thank you. Recessionary times, people cut back, and that's what... <laughs> <laughs> Didn't know that. 11 minutes past eight, you're watching at BBC Breakfast. Now... Mm -hmm. Okay, the other news is... Is he, I don't know, is he an attractive character in some ways or not for you? I think the lifestyle is attractive and that's what's interesting. Yeah. So it's specific here. You talk about starter homes. What would be their starting value then for somebody who wants to buy them? Because <laughs> it's too much. Well, it's an, I'm trying to educate Sonali. She's never seen it. You can borrow <laughs> some of my DVDs for Christmas. If you like. oh, I've, got that. <laughs> I've got them on VHS. Yeah? Remember I, that? I can dig out a VHS <laughs> player. I'm not trying to shame you this morning because there's nothing wrong with that. The people damaged. Yeah. You see, I know you've you've spent time with him, haven't you? Yes, I have. Is he apologetic about what happened? Incredibly, incredibly. Look, he he looked rape seed oil against olive oil. Now, if you go to the countryside at this time of the year, is turned very, very to the heart of America. Today, in the first week of his long series of reports, he's in Wisconsin, a state that elected Mr. Trump by the narrowest of margins. April, you're, you're not even going to eat it, are you? Well, no, I would... Um, uh, and these are quite precious. Nice. There's much, so much to talk to you about. Uh, should we start with housing, first of all? I'm um, talking today, the Prime Minister, yes. about affordable housing. What is affordable housing? How much money are we talking per house? This morning, as part of our Policing Britain series, Steph has been allowed behind the scenes at the new headquarters of Durham Police. She was in uh, the gun cabinet. I'm sure there's a different room for it, <laughs> a word for it, even a little bit earlier. Uh, where are you now? <laughs> Wrote this book as a cautionary tale, mm -hmm. and he's done everything he possibly can to re repay his debt to society since then. Um, Best with looks and and height, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Send us some I'll pictures you know, of people, you know, who, yeah, people that are. <laughs> <laughs> Story this morning: Donald Trump has promised a trade deal between Britain and the United States will be a pick it yourself, and today you have. But if you can't get someone else to do it properly, I'm going to pass you a potato. And these salad. are Jersey Royals. Is they that right? are now oh. seasonal. Mm. Will you go after the social media companies, and how could that happen? Good morning. First, our main story in German security services are facing questions about why they ended a surveillance operation. The most extraordinary way to get into a Ferrari. I think you have to win the prize <laughs> for that. Was that inspired by him? Taking Louise back to my uh, Mrs. Rogers used to teach me science at school all about solar wind, <laughs> isn't it? Charged well particles done. coming from the sun, hitting the magnetic field, heating up the gases. We'd love people to send pictures as well, Carol, wouldn't we? If we saw the, if they saw the Northern Lights, that do so far he has won in Georgia, Massachusetts, Tennessee, Virginia, Arkansas, Alabama and Vermont. His rival, Senator Ted Cruz, has had two big victories on the ladder. At that point, you, you'll say they'll be affordable. How do you keep those homes affordable for the next generation of buyers?